Tell me what you found that's important enough to rewrite history. That? that. What? That? Yeah. That medieval cross. Give me the cross. OK. This has been ascertained to have antiquity, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 1400, is that correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. This is around 600 years old. Well, it was mined 600 years ago. Where was it mined? South of France, best we know. OK, at this juncture. South of France? Yes. So that doesn't mean that this was here 600 years ago. No. It was no. in France 600 years ago and arrived here at an undetermined date. Of course. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, was this found underground? It's found in Smith's Cove. And there, yeah. There's the man who found it. With your shovel, yeah. you were able to uh, uncover it. Oh, I, I don't do my own dig, and I've got all these guys to <laughs> dig for me. But yeah, Rick and I were on Smith's Cove Beach, and Rick dug that out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy. Holy shimoly, all right. It's a cross. Oh, my gosh. I mean, that is an old, old cross. Is this worth anything? It could be. That could be part of the treasure that we're looking for. It doesn't have to be gold and silver. It could be some fantastic religious treasure. And I'm open it is. Well, even what? the cynic in me says, how many of those have you seen uh, in North America? I've, I've never seen. Neither have we. <laughs> <laughs> Who put all this here? Do you have uh, any concrete ideas, any of you, the opinions? What are your theories? What are you thinking? Templars. <laughs> That's where I'm going. You all believe the Templars? Because the Templars seems to be the prevalent idea. I would love it to be something in association with the Templars, because yeah. 300 years ago, from nine nights to rivaling the monarchy and the Vatican for power and influence, right? And then they're gone. How wonderful to fill those pages of history. You know, the Templars are a, a great answer in that we know that uh, they were marked for destruction, and many of them ran as quickly as possible to escape the death by the French king, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. King Philip the Fair. King Philip, and many of them were put to death, but uh, many Templars escaped. Where did they go? Uh, if I were a Templar, I'd have gone to Oak Island immediately. <laughs> <laughs> but we went to the famous Templar prison in France, Dome. There was a walled city. In France? Yes, at the gate there's Where in France? Tower. Dome, that's the name. Oh, that's the name of the city. D-O-M-M-E, Dome. Oh. I am D-O-U-M-B. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. But within the walls of that prison, where up to 70 Templar knights were imprisoned, they knew at that point they would never see their freedom again. And you can see lots of evidence of how they passed their time, which was by making carvings in the walls to sustain them spiritually. Over here is some of the most uh, well-known carvings of Dom this way. And there are hundreds, perhaps even thousands, of carvings on the walls of that prison. Deep carvings of uh, the Virgin Mary with uh, the child Jesus, rather ordinary crosses. And one of those carvings certainly looks like that very cross. And I would be willing to bet that you could take that and put it in the wall of the prison and it would line up perfectly. Wow.